Hi friends. So this week we are talking about the early church. We're talking about the church being a family. We say at Southern Heights, I am the church wherever I am, right? Because the church isn't a building. The church is the people in it. And God wants his church to be a family and he's our father. So I have a couple of things for you. I have a fun scavenger hunt um, game that you can play with your family at your house and put some pictures or video up of you guys doing it on our church's Facebook page, the Southern Heights Church Friends Facebook page. And then I will send you a prize if you put something up on the Facebook page. Um, and then also there's a video after this um, talking more about the church and the early church and how the church started and how the church is God's family. So have fun watching that and we'll see you Sunday. Bye. This is the church and this is the steeple. Open the... Wait, wait, wait. This is not the church. This is the church. Yeah, did you know that the Bible says that the church is actually not a building? The church is actually people. It's all the people who believe in Jesus Christ as their Savior. In fact, when the church got started, they didn't even have a building. The story of the early church is recorded in the book of Acts. Let's see what the people did in the early church. It says all the believers devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship and to sharing meals, including the Lord's Supper, and to prayer. A deep sense of awe came over all of them, and the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders, and all the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. They sold their property and possessions and shared the money with those in need. They worshipped together at the temple each day. They met in homes for the Lord's Supper and shared their meals with great joy and generosity. All of this while praising God and enjoying the goodwill of all the people. And each day, the Lord added to their fellowship those who were being saved. Now, there's a lot in that passage, but notice what the early church did. It says the first Christians gathered together regularly to hear people teach about Jesus. We do that. They spent time together as friends. We do that. They shared meals and they prayed together. They helped each other. They were generous towards one another and they worshiped God together. We do that. And it says God continued to save people who put their faith in Jesus, causing the church to grow. Even though what we read from our Bibles happened a long time ago, the same things happen at church today. We don't have to go to church. We get to go to church. A lot of neat stuff happens there. We get to spend time with our friends. We get to share meals and pray together and help each other and be generous toward one another. We get to worship God together. And most importantly, we get to learn more about Jesus so that we can share that with others. And then the Bible says the church will continue to grow because more and more people are hearing about Jesus. Church is awesome. Take a minute now and talk about these questions with a grown-up. 